Nancy Pekarik of GlaxoSmithKline. Hello, Nancy. Nice and Nancy heads up communication and leadership and corporate positioning at GSK, and that role takes, whoops. <laughs> Okay, no. <laughs> microphone helps an awful lot here. <laughs> um, in the role of communication, I think that leadership and how leaders communicate is inherent in what you do, Nancy. Yes, ma'am. So I'm wondering if you can communicate to us how you see women leaders any differently in their communication, both internally and externally. Well, I think working in the pharmaceutical industry, it's very important for us to have the same message which is that our industry is of value. But one of the great things about having Deirdre Connolly as our leader of North American Pharmaceuticals for GlaxoSmithKline is she brings real passion to that message. She's a person who lives that values of, of doing more, feeling better, living longer, which we're trying to bring to patients. But also, she is the person who shows respect for individuals inside and outside the company. She has a deep concern for doing the right thing and doing the right thing for patients. So we use her as our model, and if we do that, we will be doing the right thing for the company and for patients. Fabulous. Now, not to put you on the spot, except I'm sort of putting you on the spot, in your long history, longish history, still right. a very young woman, have you seen some of the women leaders that you work with a little different in their style in terms of how they communicate outward? Well, I'm not sure that there's a difference in the communications outward. What I do see is that the women are very team-oriented, very supportive of one another. Right. At our company, we have a mentoring program for women which accelerates leadership. Deirdre is extremely supportive of that. And it, there's an idea that, number one, you need to be capable. You need to be able to do the job. But I think having that team orientation with other women leaders allows you to have a little bit more of an understanding of how you can approach doing the job, but doing it in a way that is individual to you as a female leader. Thank you. Now, one more question. Um, I know that all of you at GSK are thrilled about Deirdre's honor as our HBA Woman of the Year. Absolutely. And it's a well, well-deserved honor, and it reflects on the people of GSK. As Deirdre said in an interview this morning, it's because of their work that she was singled out for this honor. Can you think of other ways in which women have changed their leadership roles or grown in their leadership roles at GSK and elsewhere in the industry in the past few years? Well, I think there's a recognition that it really doesn't matter if you're a woman or not. If you can do the job, you can have the job. But also, I think women have to be comfortable in doing it their way. So they don't have to be a man in the role. They can be a woman in the role. They can be inclusive. They can build teams. They can show passion and they can really do what needs to be done, but in a way that is individual to them. And again, I think the mentoring and the support of females in the workplace is really tremendous to help that. Well, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank and uh, thank you for the great work that you've been doing in your job. Thank you. Thank you.